I have just uh, taken a shower, so uh, I recording because uh, I need to be very dry in my body and my hair before I leaving home uh, because it's it's not very cold but it's cold so it's not good to drive away wet so uh, but when I am taking a shower uh, God is talking to me or what I say today because I know better now that heaven is talking to me it doesn't need to be God it uh, it can be heaven the my ancestor th that is follow me so uh, when people say God told me it doesn't uh, need to mean that God was telling them it can be someone in the spirit world uh, the ancestor to people that is telling them to to what they call that God told me because God have so much other things to do than only to focus on you and and it's very selfish to think God is telling me uh, but I tell it tell you that that what, what I was thinking before I s start to understand that I have ancestors in heaven and um, their way to tell me that they are alive they live in heaven and they are have watching me from from the beginning when I enter in into my mother's womb that they have been with me but I d have not understood it and uh, so many times when I have say God told me that have that means that someone or many of them in heaven have told me sending message to me so the, uh, you have to take it as an error sometimes you have to think like it can be error in it and in the beginning when I started the, the, my podcast here I say that that God told me so it's not long time ago I I realized that there is a sister in heaven that is sending message to me. Some, uh, some are coming very close to this planet. But uh, what causes a problem for them is that they be weak. The closer they are coming to this planet the more weak they go into the body because they take on their uh, left behind bodies that they had or they that body that they go into to talk to us but uh, so then is it an sister that is sending message they don't need the body but they are not so close to to earth so they are okay they are protected but those spirits that if i don't know if they are foolish or what they are thinking but uh, some are coming very close and uh, uh, i have talked about this uh, man uh, I met in the United States and he told me that he had seen an angel sitting and crying on the side of a person that had died 
uh, in a traffic accident. Uh, but that cry can be that they are they didn't like that they couldn't protect that person. But then it says also that the the journey this spirit had with this person it's ended and it's time to go up to heaven again and maybe uh, telling the heavenly court what have happened and uh, be, uh, they sit and cry because they are frightened of to be punished that they are losing their wings uh, the wings are not really uh, real but it's symbolic that they lose their wings and uh, and that is what people see wings but it's symbolic uh, showing it and um, that they are flying in the air that's the wing and uh, I have I have not known it, but they have told us that they don't need to move in anything. They can place their energy and their thoughts to earth for it to happen. And, uh, and because they say that once, that they move... Uh, from heaven when they are in that place they can move to another planet but not uh, physical they do it with their brain and place them they say to to me that they only need to think about the place and they are there but it's, uh, it's not for for us on earth to to do those things it's from heaven where they can do these things so uh, I know some I did it also when I was teenager uh, try to teleparty me to another place or, or whatever I wanted to do but that is, is a, a lie because they they can only do it when you are 100% spirit and not in a body so um, it was uh, a word that uh, I got yesterday and that was exil and uh, exil is not literally exil is when the bible is talking about exil that means the time when you are most far from God, when you don't know God, then you are in exile. And uh, you have to, to run and escape from the exile. That's what they talk about in the Bible, they don't talking literally. They talk about the symbolic to how to do it that I have told you so many times about the mindset it's uh, to run away in your mindset to you are in exile you are in exile already as a child because you are learned to think in one way and uh, I'm going to talk about what I have learned, uh, done one more summary. It needs to be a more summary of what have going on in these 22 years I have been uh, into learning and knowing God because I, I didn't know God uh, before I was 48 years old. So I have lived that life that you live in now and um, so I know 
uh, what have happened to you, uh, not exactly in details, but I know what you're going through, how much evil things you, uh, you, you, some people pull it, take it closer to themselves by the way you are acting and what you are saying, what you are doing, things. But then is it also that you give energy to evil to come close to you and enter into your body. So that it can, uh, this that uh, evil energy is coming into your body is not you that have done it. It doesn't need to be that way that you have done it. But you have this opening you have not uh, thinking about why do I think this negative why I, I read about pastors that uh, have had this thought of killing people then uh, they are far away from from God uh, when they're talking like that then they, they are still in the devil's grip so uh, it's not always about that you have done but you have not tell them to go away and I have told you how to do it in uh, at least two episodes I have been talking about how to defend you from evil spirits to come into you. So it's harder to take them out from your body than to bring them in. Um, and so, um, so exil, it is about that you live far away from, from God. And I have been in, in, I was in exile in 48 years, even if God was, or heaven uh, was talking to me. And I did the healing also when I was 16 years old, but I couldn't understand it. And um, I, when I take a shower now, I was thinking that, uh, I remember that uh, my my brother, the evil, real evil brother, uh, when we were teenager, he say that to me that he don't want to listen on what I'm telling. So I must have talking spirit things that he didn't want to hear and he didn't want to get the change inside his mind. He wanted to be evil, or stay evil, be on that side to try to uh, crush me, to kill me. And, um, but he, he failed. It's he that have taken away all, all my um, family and uh, my uh, aunts and uncles and cousins is he that that uh, talking to them and I, he he called my son also to stay away from me and stay away with my grandkids I have not seen my grandkids in four years now and so uh, and today I understand that to let it be uh, because I know that family that I was placed in uh, when I was placed into my mother's womb and uh, she thought she sh should not have any more kids. She had a, a daughter, an uh, adopted daughter and, and a biologic son and that's what it. And then uh, I was hiding 
in my mother's womb until she was in the fifth month. So she couldn't get abortion. So I had to be born. And I was born in, in an evil family that wanted to kill me in everything. And not, not visible, but because that, that should be seen. My adopted sister pushed me out in the street, so I was driving over. So she wanted to kill me in the body, but not my, my other family members. It was the spirit thing. And so, um, so I I wanted to talk a little more uh, in this um, summary of uh, my life in the under God, and that uh, was I uh, think about uh, taking a shower also. It. I, I know that it's because I relax when I take a shower and and uh, I hear uh, the spirit talking to me. So they told me, now, uh, now it was someone, you heard it, this, and I heard it also someone come in and and this time it was very strange. It, it come in uh, into my nose this time. And that uh, what the Bible say it was God breathing into to Adam's nozzle. So I I don't know what this spirit that touched me and I have going in into my nose what it will tell but in the shower I say that that I hope the spirit is coming to tell me more uh, what their plan is for me uh, I am a human I want to know some of the future and not only stay like I should stay here and now and not think about the future because I don't hold the future. It's heaven that hold my future. But I hope this breathing into my nose will tell me something or give me something message. Um, but uh, it I'm always going around in my body now very much, the spirit. Um, but I'm thinking about, I left Sweden in December 18, 2000. And then I start to walk under God. And I didn't know under heaven. <laughs> I still say God. But uh, in under heaven, and uh, and of course he's God because he is the highest in heaven. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking that I am going to be in uh, in Jerusalem or in Israel, Israel, December eighteen. So. It may be have something with my start to do and the ending of my uh, education or walk. I don't know. Uh, maybe is it education because how far can I go? I have visit heaven sometimes and I hear from heaven and heaven is in my home. How far can I go? more than they take me back to heaven. That's the last step. But I'm not sure that I'm going to leave earth before they are coming. Because they are here. So why should they 
take me up to heaven when they are, they are in my home. But they have no control over my home. That's This space is mine. But they are guests in my home. And um, I left uh, everything in Sweden December 18. And uh, it's very strange that my daughter didn't ask me why I left Sweden. And she had never done that in 22 years. She had never asked me. So when I start to talk to her about what heaven and God have done in my life, she's very surprised. Uh, I have not talking about my experience if people have not asked me. That have been a rule for me that I don't I don't tell if people don't ask, but uh, that was in the in my education I had that mind, but then when they say from heaven that I should do a podcast, then it's uh, the rules was not not there anymore. Because what should I do with a podcast? Sit and doesn't say anything. And only hear from from heaven. Uh, yeah, I must, it must be a message I share with you. And I love to do that. The Mormon church, uh, I told them about my experience. But they have told me all the time that I have to hold it by myself. That is personal experience and uh, uh, personal revelation, they say to me. And I say that is not how I working. And that, uh, in that time I say, uh, God knows how, how I working in my body and in my mind. So that is, I can't hold it back and take it as it's my secret because I hate secrets. I hate lies. Uh, I have done, I, I, I don't think I have done it my whole life, but in my education from God, uh, do I hate lies, fake, um, make up stories that is not true and these things. Uh, so um, I say that I can't do that. I say to these people, it was those women in Mormon church, they doesn't talk to me, but men was talking to me. And they say, last time a man was here from the church, he say that people are scared about me because I, I'm telling them about a visit from heaven and a visit from God and those things. And they, he say that people be scared when you say that. And maybe it's that's why uh, my podcast have going down more and more because people be scared to hear the truth because they want me to tell them a story that doesn't scare them and that they they know from childhood and from parents and these things and uh, that uh, I can't do that it have to be lower and lower listener. And now I'm, I'm down to on uh, on this uh, this uh, platform I uh, recording SoundCloud. I'm down to 
10 listener each day. And I have seen those music uh, music uh, people that listen on me. They have podcasts also and they have music on it. And they, it can be, be a, a thousand of people that listen at them. But when it comes to, to real life, not fake, not... Uh, not Facebook, not Meta, Meta, uh, la, uh, these uh, glasses to have a fake word to be in. Those uh, people have that music because they don't want to hear, know the the deeper about life. It's very few that want to hear deep things uh, and uh, real truth and uh, the spirit here is on his way to talk so he's pushed me he said that he he touched me and it's uh, it's hard to talk now because uh, the, the, the air, he breathes in air into my nose and it's very hard to talk now. You can, I have to take a glass of water more. Or else I can't talk from you. The spirit that is inside me, I can't talk. If I be dry out of my truth and mouth, so it's cloud. I see clouds, white clouds, a little bl light blue color, and he's on his way to enter in and. Uh, so he have a body and so that, that's why why I go dry in my throat because he's coming to so close to earth so it's be this weakness from him that I feel and um, It's the eyes, so also my eyes, be tears in my eyes, and uh, he say a gas chamber. So it's one of my Jewish ancestors that is coming here. That what he's saying? Why I get this, like tears in my eyes and and have hard to, to speak um, that he he was I understand so if it's something that have with that picture you give me if it's something you want to tell because I understand that you were in this gas chamber that he was in that train it was a um, train wagon uh, hooked away from from the locomotive it was standing like uh, they didn't open at all uh, the wagon uh, they go directly into a they standing and that it become a gas chamber and uh, and it had to stay there until the gas was really gone and then they they soldiers it was not the soldier he say i'm wrong because i don't see those people he say it was um, 
those that was in the camp, that was prison in the camp, it was other people that do it because they were frightened to get the gas into their lungs, the soldiers, so they let those that already was in the camp to clean up. And so it's, uh, it is very important for the spirit to show me because now he's showing me how did they drag out those dead bodies from the wagon and uh, place them outside for the gas to go away uh, first before they uh, start to do things with these uh, bodies. And he say they burn it up there, those in that wagon. It was like they didn't have any time to dig down a grave. They burn it because they were in into the camp. And so I say to him, it's very sad what you have going through. And your family and your, the people. Yeah, it's. Uh, and uh, people should know that it was not only Jewish people that was uh, killed. It was all people that have another opinion about. Uh, Hitler and uh, it was people that they don't understand that today uh, uh, this is why he he showing me this now it's coming to that main message and I have said that before but people uh, pe people ha have not listened really because you it's you are new listener, and it was a long time ago as I talk about it, that I, I visit Dachau. <laughs> it's sad, but, it, but it's fun because you say, yeah, I was there. So that's, I understand that he, he triggered me to visit Dachau camp in when we go to Munich to drink beer it was that in that time I didn't know God so I didn't have any connection with the spirits and I was in the camp of Dachau and uh, I have talked about that that my ancestors uh, they have wanted me to to be in those places where they have lived or what they have done some acting. And uh, here is he that pulled me to visit that show camp in, in outside Munich. Uh, and uh, it must have been about... Uh, 90, 92, 1992 I was there about that time because uh, I didn't know anything. It was no spirits that had coming through in that time. So, uh, but uh, today I know he pulled me there and now uh, I want, want to see it's not my will, it's your will, the Spirit's will. If you want to say something more about this. Yeah, he say that, I, re I forget to say that, uh, although those people that was homosexual, lesbian, homosexual men and women, they were killed. 
that was against Hitler's thoughts. So you should be very careful if you you vote for those that like Hitler. Because uh, if you are homosexual, you are on the list to be killed. And uh, and it it was also those people that was disabled. Which you, it was a shame to show people to be disabled because Hitler he saw his people to be healthy. He didn't want any any in wheelchair. I am not sure that if there is a picture of someone that is uh, disabled of Hitler's people. I'm not sure. It was dangerous to be disabled. Uh, where Hitler had his army. I can't say uh, Germany because it was other countries also. Uh, so people disappeared. And it's uh, Hitler clean up from disabled people. The, Hitler was cleaning up of people that was defected in their body as he saw it. So uh, people with Down syndrome and people that was not so high high up in intelligent they they left earth they were killed so it was not only jewish it was many uh, i think uh, i uh, i don't remember if i was talking about gypsies for example and uh, so he wanted to tell you that you should not be sure because now in Europe that we see we see everything what's going on on, on earth that uh, is very much going into the right side where uh, uh, Hitler friendly government and you should not it's a warning for you that you should not think like that. Oh, I am not Jewish, so I'm okay. I'm a homosexual and I, I do drugs and that is okay. But to be Jewish is very dangerous. But that is false. That is wrong thinking of you as soon as you are not into this form that Hitler had of how people should look like you should look like blonde and blue eyes you should be intelligent and you should be straight no homosexual you you should agree to everything that Hitler was saying and and do and uh, make a commercial for Hitler and and uh, do this uh, or go in in Hitler's band Hitler's least Hitler's way to think so if you think about yourself about that freedom you have today it's not for granted I tell you nothing is for granted and because you can die in some minutes from now so you have you don't even have granted to live so we need to do our best 
uh, and that is the will of God and willing of heaven and everything that is around us that we can't see but it's um, he he go away now from my body <coughs> so he he left now um thank you for talking to us so I don't remember I don't remember what was saying because it's coming another spirit here that uh, touched me in the back um, and, uh, the whole way in my back and up on my shoulder and go uh, behind into my head um, some uh, this is not the same spirit uh, you don't need to s to tell us your gender it uh, if it's not something that have with gender to do so a spirit is a spirit. A spirit is not a gender. It can be both a, a woman and a man. It, it can be a man. It can be a woman. It can be a girl. It can be a boy. It has nothing with gender to do. So it's okay that you can't decide you what to, what gender to show me. Um, so it's a mix of both um, he uh, this uh, spirit I maybe say she or he um, this gender is saying this to me and to you that you should not be in in the big uh, flock you should you are in the little flock and the big flock is now it, it, it was uh, some uh, it was disastrous weather I watched on television and I heard it uh, it was translated God but people were screaming Jesus so those people that was in this disasters and was scared uh, they were in the big fault in Jesus fault so uh, you that um, from Ireland and England and Germany Belgium and other uh, and now I have got from Indonesia uh, and United States is it some uh, and uh, if I have for, forgotten someone I'm sorry for that but you that understand that this is for real this spirit is talking to you now he wanted to talk to you that is my follower real follower that that uh, listen on every episode and uh, this spirit is talking to you and it's have nothing with how big the flock is is saying that to you that you, you should not be worried that you see that those uh, listener are uh, decrease they decrease but it's because it will be only this 
quality of listener, this listener that understand that this is for real. So he tell you to not be worried to see this shrinking numbers of listener. There is uh, other in other. Uh, he says surf plate, but it's not surf plate. It's uh, other platforms. They um, uh, there is some in the other platforms also. So the, there is more than what is show, showing on one platform, and. Um, It is many times that we can't say exactly what it will be. We don't know because it's it is um, it's a connection with you the, on Earth that uh, some of things that's going on is depend on what you are doing on earth everything is not about what we are doing in heaven is the response we get from you on earth that make us to could go forward and uh, if it will be stopped that you don't act on what is was saying from us, then we can't move on, and that's why we can't say when the time is over. When is the last day? The last day is when we see no reaction of people that that people is look warm that people not really think this is true what is going on here in the podcast uh, that is the same as no you need to be on fire for this podcast and what is saying what do you hear or else will this this planet that you are on it will go doomed it will be cold it will be black if no one responds on what is saying here and helping to support the earth to stay warm and not be cold and dead we can we can choose another planet there is lots of planets in the solar system so we can like you do when you walking out from your home you, we press the button, and the bat button is go uh, make all uh, the lights going out from your home, and you are not there anymore. It's very symbolic. He's talking about also. Um, so it's. Everything is dependent on you. The, the last day is not, can, not close. But the last day can be close to earth. But the last days for the universe is not here. Uh, there is many planets that have the light on it. So it's we can only... A target another planet another solar system it's 
there is many soul systems in the universe. So uh, it's up to you what it will be. It's not on us in heaven what what this planet will be. It's depend on the people that live on this planet what will happen in the future so we, we don't know the future and you are like small gods because you can decide if you want to make this planet total black or if you want more light to come in to this planet it's your choice because we have many <laughs> you're laughing you're laughing and say so we have many platforms to be on he say he say a modern word he say this is not the one that was in hitler's camp this is someone else that say it uh, and he is a little fun person not a fun person fun spirit he is uh, he can be very young maybe that's why he is so fun but all people can be fun also so i thank you for giving us the warning you know that i work for you under heaven i'm the one prophet says and so i i do what you want me to do and I am not hiding something in the secret because I am not a secret. I am not hiding. I am not a person that doesn't say everything. If it's important, I tell people. The other things can I, I don't care if I not talk about it or, or talking. But when it have with heaven to do I need to tell everything I know you need to know you don't need to to in, invest uh, the wheel again what I know is what you get and you know if you have uh, been follow me from the start or uh, download it and listen you know how I have developed and, and grow and, uh, and in my understanding about heaven and God and what's going on. I was not like that from the beginning when they told me to, to start a podcast. I didn't know what to do with a podcast. I didn't know what podcast was. I had to look for it on the internet to see what it was podcast and then I didn't know what to talk about because the uh, the pandemic the COVID-19 came and I couldn't have any people inside my home so I wondering what should I do with the podcast but I did it anyway I I don't need to to understand what is going on. So someone is saying, so why do you ask about the future? Uh, okay, I I understand that I have to live today, only today, here and now, and not think about the future because I don't hold the future. Uh, I don't have any control over my life. I, I don't, I can't take anything for granted. So that's for you also to understand. Uh, it's very hard to uh, work on it to be like that. But at least you can try it to think like that is that you have no control over your life. You, 
it's only here and now. Uh, today when you are here and live, you don't know the tomorrow. And you tell, can't take anything for granted. Uh, so that's, it uh, sounds very negative, but it's not negative because it's not for us to think about the future. We can daydream, that's okay to daydream, but we can't take it as 100% sure that it will be like that in the future. We, we don't know anything from one seconds, second from now. We have no control. So that's what I leave you with. And I love you, you that follow me and you that will follow me in the future later on. And uh, I love, uh, I'd be so happy those days when I see someone have download all the episodes they can. And I will look at the episodes today to see if some of them isn't uh, working to download because they have changed uh, my podcast to be that I have to click on if I should uh, you should could uh, download it that's what the devil have done to this podcast and I know it's the devil have done many things but you can always go to YouTube and there is other places and uh, there you can find my name. I am the only one that have this last name, Virginius. Um, so it's easy to find me on the internet if you want to find me. So thank you for listening. I love you all. I'll, and a little extra for you that follow me and download my episodes because you make me so very happy. Thank you.